It is not my will. In Jesus' mighty name. You witnessed the fourth Sunday in the month of December. By the grace of God, you and I, and your family and my family, we shall all be alive to witness the first Sunday in January 2022. Nobody will die suddenly. Every good thing of life we have been trusting God for. In this last month of the year 2021, God will supply. And it shall be well with us. In Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit of the living God, I bow before you this morning. Holy Spirit, minister to us. I am your servant. I am the messenger, you are the message. Personally, come and minister to your children. And I pray for everyone here, let your heart open up. Let your spirit connect the Holy Spirit. And let the Spirit of God penetrate our heart, soul, and body. So shall it be. For in Jesus' mighty name. Jam your hands together for the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated in God's presence. Welcome your neighbor. So happy Sunday to you. You are welcome, sir. Merry Christmas in advance. And prosperous New Year ahead. Amen. People of God, I will be ministering. In fact, throughout the Sundays in the month of December, it's going to be a revival service. Amen. This is what the Lord ministered to me. The Lord said there shall be no carryover. So please, I beg us in the name of God, let us try to meet up with the remaining Sundays in the year 2021. It's for your good, it's for my good. Amen. This morning, I will be ministering on what are tied to the evil contractors. <laughs> Clapping and attitude. Tell your neighbor, listen to pastor. I need that message. The evil contractor. Praise the Lord. People of God, let me start by letting us know that the major destroyer of destiny is the evil contractor. Let me tell us this secret. It's not possible for the devil to be everywhere at the same time. God make use of people the way the devil make use of people. And I've told us severally that the devil makes use of people, make use of places, and make use of objects. The devil can make use of your house. The devil can make use of your office. The devil can make use of your spawn. The devil can make use of your vehicle. These are the three major ways the devil carry out his assignment. And in most cases, he makes use of people. For an instance, if the devil wants to attack your vehicle, the devil will connect you to a, bear, to a bad mechanic who will be heartless, yes or no? <laughs> and the mechanic will be deceiving you. I'm only giving an instance. If the devil wants to make use of your plasma screen, <laughs> anytime you bring in new one, something will happen. It is when high voltage will come. Because the devil don't want you to use plasma screen in your house. I'm only giving us a um, simple analysis for us to have a better understanding. The evil contractors. Without wasting time, the evil contractor is somebody who enters into an agreement to carry out a definite work. 
And let me shock you, we have them in our family. We have them in places, business places, uh, offices, etc., etc. I believe many of us, we have, have heard about the news of this servant of God in Ondo State. Shotito Bire. Shotito. Shotito Bire. You know, I said it, it was during one of our 40 days at night. I said that man was, that man of God was innocent. Because I'm a spiritual person. Though I knew that he will win the case by the grace of God. But the truth is this. How come a child got missed in the house of God? I'm giving us this analysis for you to understand this message very well. Because many of us, our problem will remain unsolved until God opens our eyes to know those who are evil contractors. That is why you see many people, they would be jumping from one mountain to the other from exterior's. The devil can make use of anything. The devil can make use of anybody. And many people, be, you know, people easily believe lies. <laughs> because majority of human beings are liars. So immediately human beings hear lies. They will not make inquiry. They will not verify. They say, eh, hey, I thought as much. Look at that man of God. They burned down the church. They burned down his house. And immediately, the man was in prison. No news again. They sent him to life imprisonment. But I know God will fight for him totally. Who carry out that assignment? Evil contractors. Evil contractors are like higher killers. You can't beg them. They will not listen. Am I communicating? Aha. Uh -huh. So, evil contractors is somebody who enters into an agreement to carry out a definite work. First Peter 5 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. But the truth is this the devil makes use of three things. The devil makes use of people, the devil makes use of places, the devil makes use of objects. People of God, the devil often award contrast to his agents, and these agents are known as evil contractors. The major thing evil contractor does is to destroy people's destiny. If you are doing well in your business, they will destroy it. The major thing evil contractor does is to destroy anything that is meaningful, anything that is good, or anything that will give your life a meaning. But unfortunately, how many children of God are spiritually conscious? <laughs> How many? That's where the problem lies. No wonder the Bible recorded that to be carnally minded is dead. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. The devil gives evil contractors contract to demote, to defy, to pollute, to distract, and to destroy. And evil contractors are always excited to do evil works for the enemy. Let us see one Bible-based example because I need to keep to time. Let us see the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2. I read from verse 1. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east, take note of that, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king had this, he was troubled. A king 
had the needs of another king. That's the reason why children of God always watch your back. Nobody wants you to be the head except your head. The little things you are doing, be careful. Many people are envious. Millions of people also wish to do it. Maybe you are succeeding your little business. Ah. And you have 100 friends. Don't deceive yourself. 90 something percentage of them will never wish you well. Let them be, speak, be tongue speakers. Let them be Holy Ghost carrier. It does not matter. But adventure you are doing when your career, the same thing applies. How do I mean? Because the Bible recorded that human beings are desperately wicked. The heart of human beings. That is why you must build this consciousness in you. You must learn to watch your back. Always learn to watch your back. One of my daughters was praying, believing God for whom to marry. And I told her, you are going to meet a man very soon. And to God be the glory, he met a man. And the, this man happens to be a banker. Instead of this, my daughter to come back to me for us to finalize the prayer, the first person she called was her friend. And she said, I met a guy, and I think I like the guy. And the guy is a banker. And her friend said, over my dead body, me, marry a banker. Banker that will leave home 5 a.m. and return home 10 or 11 p.m. You are the enjoyment. And this is my daughter. Instead of her to come to me, she harking to the voice of her friend. After about nine months, and now she came for prayer. I said, ah, you met someone. And she said, yes, 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 I met someone. And the guy is a banker. And I told my friend, and my friend discouraged me. I feel like slapping her. Many of us are like that. What people tell us is what we put on our head. Go seek the face of God. The heart of men are desperately wicked. If you run to 10 people for advice, I'm telling you, out of these 10 advisors, 8 will mislead you. 8 or 9, yes or no? Most especially if they know that this thing will give you breakthrough. <laughs> Man will not have a breakthrough. So we need to build that consciousness. The only person that will never deceive you is God. The Holy Spirit. And few people who have the Spirit of God. Even husband, they deceive wife. Wife, they deceive husband. Yes or no? Children deceiving their parents deceiving their children. <laughs> it's the word of God. The art of men are desperately wicked. Back to my message, the evil contractors. Now, when Herod the king heard that he was at this, he was troubled and heard the Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes to the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. People of God, there are some people making inquiry about you. That's no big deal. Just make sure you are fortified. Make sure you are secure and protected. So they said to the king, Aaron, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, but you, Bethlehem, the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of the Judah, for out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Aaron, when he had, when he had secretly called the wise men, look at the activities of evil contractors, he secretly called the wise men, he secretly, he secretly, Call them. Say, please come, come. Determine from them what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship you also. When they heard the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them. It came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary's mother and fell upon and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasury, they presented gifts to him, gold, Francis, and Mary. Then, being divinely warned in a dream, may the Lord expose your enemy. 
Every evil contractor in your life, may the Lord expose them. Then be divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to error. They departed for their home country another way. Now, when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Clap for Jesus. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. You can see how the devil contracted King Herod to destroy Jesus. Then who are you? Who am I? See how the devil contracted. He gave the contract to King Herod. People of God, for adventure you have been praying and it seems answers are not coming. Please, I encourage you to stop and check. Look inward first. Then, take your investigation to the people that surrounded you. You will realize that the problem is very close. Evil contractors. One woman came here about three months ago. He was, she was doing well in her business. She now saw, I don't know which is in the congregation. She now pity her friend. Say, ah, my friend, I won't deceive you. You to go and meet Papa. It was Papa that God used. So I think even I was confused. No, I've been suffering with my husband. But when I came to Papa, Papa said this, so, and I'm doing well. <laughs> with intention to help her friend. I can't really say whether the friend came here. But later on, the friend became jealous. To cut a long story short, it was the same friend that attacked our friend business. It remains small for the business to liquidate before the woman now ran to the church. After the prayer, our friend stopped communicating with her. So she knew that truly, this, my friend, is an evil contractor. People of God, be careful. Always watch your back. If not for God, Edward would have succeeded in killing Jesus Christ. How much more you? Many say, like when you are working, things are not working. It is not your sin. We are all sinners. Every pastor commits sin. Yes or no? We are all sinners now. So why is the problem remaining? Be careful. There are evil contractors. They may be in the physical, they may be in the spiritual. And if you are not spiritually inclined, you will never know. I can beat my chest. There, are, there is no problem that God cannot solve. I'm telling you the truth. But there are many problems that will never receive solution. Why? Because if you are spiritually blind, your problem will kill you. That's the truth. If you are spiritually blind, your problem will remain like that. And that is how you will die. How do I mean? There is nothing God cannot do. What God cannot do does not exist. But there are some things that God will never do. Oh, maybe I should use myself as an example. Several years, but I won't go into the details. Ah, things became very difficult for me. Extremely difficult. And I'll begin to pray. And I'll begin to pray. I will tell you what the Holy Spirit minister to me. One day, I prayed that prayer. Serious prayer. I ran to the mountain. I returned. Ha! I prayed. And one day, Pastor is now asking me, ah, anytime situation like this, you pray and God used to answer you. And I'll begin to think, is it a sin? For Personally, I begin to confess. <laughs> I be I be I Let to cut a long story short, the Lord now opened my eyes. I saw the powerful revelation, and when I woke up, Holy Spirit said to me, "Your problem came as a result of people that God never showed mercy. That you show mercy, Oluwani." I want to long with Shanufu, Timo Shanufu, Lobo Gusino Ayemi. This is the first time I'm saying this. 
awon ti olorun o sanu fun emi wa lo sanu fun won ogun won o wa wonu aye mi that day i wept as of that time you know me very well i'm not making out even this kind of material i don't wear it but few years back i wear 2000 naira ankara in this church someone dashed me the one i wear all last sunday was a dash show this one too was a dash but personally i don't buy this kind of materials and this one is even expensive as of that time i was putting on 1005 ankara that should be about Three or four years ago, things were tight for me. Enemy shook me. And when God opened my eyes, only woe, I wanted me shanufun, or then shanufun, a year to budget. I didn't discover with anybody, I'm sharing for the first time. People, I did not show mercy. And you show them mercy. Your life is destroyed. I have no body to run to. I wept for her. For months. Ah, and I suffer. Yeah, I suffer. And Holy Spirit now reminded me. said, now, have you forgotten Moses? I said, Moses. He said, yes. When Moses was on the mountain, and Moses returned, before Moses returned, the Lord opened Moses' eyes. And the Lord said to Moses, look at the people. Look at the people. And Moses said, God said, let me destroy these people and bring you another set of people. Moses said, no, 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 no. God, have mercy. God, have mercy. God, have And there's one thing about God. If you disturb God too much and you are ignorant, God will keep quiet. That does not mean God is absent. God is present but silent. So God kept quiet. God didn't talk again. Moses succeeded in convincing God and God forgive them. The same set of people. <laughs> we are the same people that didn't allow Moses to enter the promised land. Instead of them to plead for mercy on behalf of Moses, they didn't plead for mercy. And now got the message. This life is a spiritual life. Understanding spirituality will give you spiritual solution to spiritual problems. Maybe you have a complaint. There are certain sort of people you must not employ. I'm telling you the truth. In life, there are certain sort of people you must not connect. Or yes, no matter how powerful your destiny, I'm telling you, your destiny will never have an expression. No matter how glorious your glory, I'm telling you the truth. Your glory will never see the light of the day. You will just be there and you will die like that. And God will do like this. God will do like this. God will tell you, it's in my book. If you are wise, you are wise for yourself. You are foolish, you are foolish for yourself. So see Jesus Christ. Woman king want to kill Jesus. The devil contracted King Herod. Because of our time, we all know the story of Balaam. Balaam was hired by who? By Balak to cause certain set of people, evil contractors. That is why, as a child of God, always be prayerful, be watchful, and be sensitive. When you are a victim of your own weakness, you will remain a victim and die a victim. And to what's the matter? The devil can employ your wife. The devil can employ your husband. The devil can employ any of your staff, anybody. During those periods, there is nobody I can explain to. Nobody. That's the reason why whatever you are doing, make sure the hand of God is in it. Make sure the hand of God is on it. I didn't, God didn't call me genuinely. Ah, Matthew Father still on it.
Shall we rise this morning? Shall we rise? Shall we rise? I want you to pray with holy hunger this morning. Balaam was hired to curse the children of God. Balaam means devourer. I want you to pray. Any Balaam assigned to destroy my life, you are a liar. Die. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Any Balaam assigned. Pray very well. Any Balaam, known and unknown Balaam, Assigned to destroy my life. Assigned to destroy my destiny. You are a liar. Die! In Jesus' mighty name. You are going to repeat that prayer. A few years back, we invited Pastor Femi Ababa. And he said, years back, that invited a man of God to come and minister. That is why in our church here, any time we invite men of God, you can ask pastors. After I've prayed, God has given me their name. I will still go to the prayer mountain, be praying, be praying that God, because I am not God. It's not possible for me to know everything. Yes or no? It's not possible for me to see everything. I will now take it to God and say, God, if there's any of these people that I can't see with my spiritual eye, Father, Make sure something happens. Just do something that will make it impossible for this person to come. You need wisdom. Wisdom in the principal thing. If you have, if you have wisdom, you become a principal to overcome all forms of principalities. Don't mock anybody. I'm a sinner like anybody here. But when you are ignorant, you become a victim of your own weakness. You die like that. So Pastor Baba invited that man of God and Pastor Baba said, he realized that since that time, nothing good entered the church again. Things are no longer working again. First year, second year, third year. Ah, things became difficult. He now begins to cry unto God. God now opened his eyes. Look at the man of God you brought. He enter your church and he carry away your glory. I want you to pray with holy anger. Anybody I'm associating with that is not of God, I command be separated from me. Prayer! Anybody, anybody, pray that prayer very well. Pray that prayer very well. Pray that very well. Pray that prayer very well. In Jesus' mighty name. And let me ask you, people of God, do you realize that out of ignorance, you too can become an evil contractor? Ah, uh, I'm telling you the truth. That, listen to me, that is why I used to tell people, if you want to know your true color, make up your mind to be saying the truth. You will see how your flesh will be fighting you. Make up your mind and make your heart to be pure. And number three, humble yourself. You will see how God will be fighting your battle. I want that more. I want that more. Oh, more yapa. Minus are the enemy that you thought you have enemy. Forget about that more. Those ones are not enemy. The real enemy, you can't know them. <laughs> Read your Bible very well. It's going to happen to me. Me, that I did see you. <laughs> I did see. Apostle John Sleeman said, there was one woman working with her for years. She didn't know that young lady, at any small thing, she's always there for Apostle John Sleeman. For yet, it's one of Apostle John's favorite staff. Working with Apostle John's Lema. But one year, during a revival program, Holy Spirit exposed the secretary. 
the secret started confessing. Just name said he was shaking like a baby. We are all, all pastors are human beings. It takes grace of God. That is why even Babala will too, they suffer. I find they suffer. So you need the first thing if you want God to help you. Be a truth catalyst. No matter what happens, always stand for the truth. Number two, have a pure heart. Number three, have humility. I'm telling you, you see how God will fight for you. That's why many people, if you know me very well, I, I hardly add me even in combo because I'm conscious. I'm always conscious because that is part, that is one area of my strength. When I hear things, I will say it. That is me. And I have my reason. I don't want to receive Cain from God. If my wife condemned Pastor Biola to me, stylishly I would tell Pastor Biola, ask them now. If Pastor Biola is misbehaving, ask, oh, Pastor Biola, will. Mm -hmm. I'm glory water. Directly or indirectly. So there's no how my wife will come and destroy Pastor Bella to me. They know born that way. Immediately I will call her the names. I pray they never name her. Man, you're weary. I dare over to church. Aha. When you have a husband like that, you want to give your head correct. Give aha. I temi ye meo. Because many pastors' wives have destroyed their husband churches. Baba Debo he said, I can kill anybody because of my wife. And they asked him why. She said, <laughs> Most pastors' wives have destroyed the calling of their husband. I'm speaking from experience. Many of you understand the Bible more than I do. But you need this reality. Always stand for the truth. Let your heart be pure. If anybody is lying to you, immediately you will know and humble yourself. Because many of us, what has killed us is pride. Sometimes I used to call my wife Shako Jia. Manio, Mama Tunque, Shako Gia. That's her nickname. Say Shako Gia. Sherisi, Sherisi. Hey, low talk. If you're a true Catholic, say Shako Gia. Sheriva. Even Big Sam cannot say it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But if the best way to help Pastor Mrs., that is the best way. That is the best way to help her. That is isn't why you can say she's my mother in the Lord. Most mother in the Lord are mother. I'm telling you the truth. If you cannot beat your chest that I'm your pastor, then is it that I'm fake or you are fake? That's the honest truth. It's like when they saw Shako Jia, they saw Kole Luyina, any Shako Jia. Okay. But, okay, dynamic women, many people honor her, yes or no. The woman of God that came, she's old enough to be a mother, yes or no? If you are not mature, you will call it suffering. But if you mature, you will see it as training. Because your training determines your reigning. So I want you to pray. Say, anybody hire to curse me? You are a liar. I command. Run mad. Prayer. Anybody hire to curse me? I command you are a liar. Run mad. Run mad. Run mad. Run mad. Run mad. In Jesus' mighty name. Close your eyes. Because of time, I want to pray for you. Any evil contractor making things difficult for you. You faster, you pray. Testimony is coming. They diverted it. You vigil. Testimony is coming. They diverted it. 
I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Whoever wants you to finish this year unfulfilled, may the Lord expose them. Amen. There's one thing I don't joke with, and I can do it. People who know me very well will tell you I'm saying the truth. I hate to see anybody not fulfilling destiny. It's not possible. I can go to any length, positively, to make sure someone fulfills destiny. Because you are here in this life to fulfill destiny. But when evil contractors are around you or inside you, hey, I'm telling you, testimony will become the diverted. But I pray, whoever is call, you are calling a friend, whoever you are calling a relative, who is working as an agent of darkness, I command at the shout of your seven powerful amen, let fire expose them. Amen, 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 amen. Finally, Balaam was hired by Balak. Go and curse the children of God. It's not a new thing, people of God. I have seen a wife that said, Papa, don't pray for my husband. Let my husband remain like that. I said, why? He said, when the man was in money, the man never remember me. And that is the mistake. That is the offense of the husband. And now look at her. Thank God, she's no longer in our church. Since that time, I gap myself. If this woman can do this, the father of your own children, evil contractors, people of God, let us be careful. Let us be careful. It's very possible for me, myself, to become my own personal evil contractor. How do I mean? If I ate the truth, my share me pa. If my heart is not pure, and if I'm not humble, I will fumble. I pray for everybody here. Peradventure, you have become self-made evil contractor. At the shout of your three powerful amen, receive deliverance by fire. Amen. Amen. I repeat for an emphasis. Maybe as a result of ignorance, you have been doing this. The Bible says, let there be light and there was light. Wherever you have, been, you have been missing it, your past mistake, at the shout of your three powerful men, I command in the name of Jesus, let power change on. Anything in you, anything outside you, anything around you, That the enemy has put in place to frustrate your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, I command it to be destroyed by fire. Amen. 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 The Lord has commanded. Said this all the Sundays in this month. Use it as a revival. And I pray. Every destiny that's supposed to be fruitful by now. But experiencing unfruitfulness, businesses, career, marriages, ministry, including the life of viewers all over the world, things that are supposed to bring you all around fruitfulness, but as of today, nothing to show. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, before the end of this year, 2021, that Lord will show up in your case. If there is any mistake you have made that the devil is using as an opportunity to punish you by the power in the blood of redemption, right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let that mistake turn to testimony. Amen. 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 Your case is settled. 
you shall testify in Jesus' mighty name.